What's up guys, it's your boy Siobhan here back with a brand new video and today I'll be showing you the top favorite tweaks for this week so definitely stick around if you're into some new tweaks. So the first one I have for you guys is called folder color and folder color allows you to customize your folder color. Yes, it's so simple, that's all it does, it customizes the background of your folder but you guys might realize that my folders are different, that's because of full folder 9, that's the second tweak full folder 9 next up guys we have sleek notifications so this basically lets your notifications look way better than before i know the ios 10 notification is just huge and takes up too much space so i'm just going to color banners too and show you guys how these notifications look for banners here boom it's small it's neat and it's just sleek and this is how it looks on your lock screen if you have this paired with priority hub it looks so awesome as you can see right there it looks really cool sleep notification 10 see notifications sorry not notification 10 it's just called sleep notifications it's definitely a win so you should check that one out now if you look closely at the status bar guys you realize that you have a little moon going on right there and this tweak is called moon phase so it basically tracks the phase of the moon in the status bar so if you're one of those scientific guys who likes to know about this stuff Definitely check out moon phase. I really think it's cool and interesting just to know how the moon phase is actually outside right now. Next up guys we have pulse HD. So this is a basically a volume HUD changer. So if I turn up my volume right here you can see that it's pulsing until it's maxed out. I think it's just really fun in my opinion. It has a couple of updates that made it to where it's at now but it's an all in all good tweak. Pulse HD, HUD, very very cool tweak in my opinion. I find myself just playing around with the pulse animation over and over again. I might break my volume button anytime soon, but definitely check this one out. It's called Pulse HUD. So you guys always wonder how my like toggles are so different. Let me just try and find some. Uh, so as you can see at the top right here, we have a uh, an like a moon toggle. Let me just try and find something like hide me x or something. So go in animations. I'm going to force touch. So you can see we have a bunch of toggles right here. So it adds a natural moon and sun style to your switches. That's what it does. It's called day night switch. Really cool tweak. It blends in good if you have like a black theme going on. As always, I always have a black theme going on. Next up guys, we have Polos. And this one is for your control center. And Polos is very very cool. Let me show you what this one does. So if I go into my whoops, if I go into my tweaks, slide down to P right here we have Polos. Then you could also you could change the configuration. So for the bottom shelf, you can see that we have a bunch of toggles right there. We could switch them around. I could bring the, the recording button right there. So if I swipe on my toggle, you can see the recording button right there. Or I could just leave it out. And on the top shelf. As I said before, same thing, you could rearrange the icons and you could add more tabs. But what you can also do is change the icon pack. So if, for example, the app icons, you can, if you go into extra apps, you could bring into studio, you could get more apps. But let's not do that. Now, just go into configurations again, guys. So for example, you want to change how and toggle look. I'm going to my top shelf. For example, I want to change the Bluetooth option. Hit the Bluetooth go to select icon and then I could choose a bunch of icons right here so I'm just use the a carrot for Bluetooth so now if I jump back out and swipe up as you can see my Bluetooth option is now a carrot it's really really neat so if you guys want to mess around with the control center change up a bunch of things definitely check out Polos it's really cool and I definitely advise this tweak and it looks way better than flip control center in my opinion Next up guys, we have this one for Safari, it's called Type Tab. So you know normally when you go into Safari, right, you have to just tap the top just to bring up the keyboard. Type Tab doesn't allow you to tap it once you enter a new, let, let me show you, once you enter a new tab, it automatically brings up the keyboard which is really convenient and saves a lot of time. Type Tab definitely one you should check out guys, it's free inside of Cydia. Next up guys, we have Acapella 3, so if you want to change a track, you could easily just swipe across here, it changes the track real smooth, if you want to pause it, you just tap on it, 
there's a lot of things you guys should check out it's really cool trust me acapella 3 makes your music application so much better to me and it really looks sleek there's a tons of settings you can go inside and check out if you're not sure about it and yes guys this wraps up the video definitely check out the description for more tweaks and I'm, I'll be having a better video up tomorrow it's because school has been killing me so I've definitely had to wrap up a video for you guys I can't go a day without posting and always guys remember love peace and tweaks signing out